George, welcome to Floor Talk. It's great to have you on the show. I'm really excited to be here. Great, so here, I wanna start off by talking about the company. Tell me about Hebia and why you started the company. I actually started Hebia four years ago because a lot of my smartest friends were going into consulting, investment banking, or if they were lucky, investing roles, and they were doing really like mundane tasks. They actually hated their lives. Uh, and I've always heard that the best place to start a company is where there's the most pain. But at the same time, I was very, very early to the AI revolution, kind of two years before ChatGPT, making a bet that LLMs would change everything. And I thought probably the best place to actually go out and apply this technology was where there was the most pain in investment banking, really all parts of the M&A process. Hebia in one sentence is like AI for M&A. We work with investment bankers, lawyers, and investors. Yeah. Now, George, we know there's a lot of hype around AI. So while there are some reports that the adoption of AI has increased, yeah. there have been some reports that it doesn't provide the value that people had expected. Why do you think that is? It's a good question. And one of my hot takes as a CEO of an AI company is that 90% of all of AI applications right now are vaporware. They're very good at doing very simple tasks like rewriting an email or helping your kids cheat on their homework. But the complex tasks that actually make the economy function require more data and more understanding of process than a simple chatbot or a simple search engine could provide. Hebi has pioneered the concept of agents, and we really think agents are the future, which are AI applications that don't only take you know, a single step, but can understand a complex question like, is this a good investment? Break it down into its constituent steps, execute them all, and then actually arrive at an answer that's as unbiased and actually as thorough as an investor. So George, talk to me more about your clients. Yeah. Who are your clients and who's finding the most value from something like Hebia? A lot of the best financial services and legal firms in the world are actually starting to deploy AI in very unique ways uh, to get value. Uh, and we count them among our clients. So Centerview as an investment banking client, on the asset management side, we work with many of the largest mega funds and asset managers in the world, including Premiera, for example. Uh, and then even on the legal side uh, and you know advising uh, different sorts of entities in the M&A process. Now tell me, how would bankers or investors use Hebia? I'll start on, on the sell side. Bankers will often go in and actually use Hebia and, and agents to draft full material. So they'll go in and say, hey, give me a first pass of an S1 or, or a marketing presentation to present this company in the best possible light. On the buy side, a lot of people will actually go in and take marketing materials and spread them out and say, hey, how does this match up to our investing criteria? And so there's a bit of like a, a seesaw of using AI agents to actually find the signal and the noise and then to present the best possible company. But there's actually thousands of different applications. Another one on the sell side uh, would be any, anything from analyzing peers. So looking at lots of historical data or every single earnings call from all of your industry peers over the last you know, three quarters. That's more information than a human alone could read. Uh, and Hebia agents actually can process that and help sell side firms advise their clients based on industry trends in a much better way. On the buy side, there's a variety of other applications too. A really interesting one might be, hey, virtual data rooms dictate every single investing decision. Deep research and other like you know, very nascent web-based applications are very good at you know, looking through stuff that's public, but private stuff dictates a lot of these transactions. And Hebia has a, a new product that actually spreads out all of the different red flags, what's missing, and different things that might be part of an investing process when you're looking through a VDR. So that's driving you know, something that would normally take days or weeks into like a task that takes minutes. Now you mentioned AI agents. So tell me, why are they an important part of the future of AI? A lot of these other applications I've been talking about, chatbots, uh, et cetera, are very good um, at like single steps, like an intern is probably the best metaphor. You've got to look over their shoulder and tell them exactly what to do for you know, every second. And you're actually catching up with them and, and micromanaging them. But that doesn't drive real value to an organization. AI should be like as, as thorough as an investor and as logical as a lawyer. And agents actually start to unlock the promise of, hey, give AI an ambiguous task and let it go out and prosecute every step and be that thorough or be that logical. So now, George, you're headquartered here in New York City. Why do you think New York City is a good place to build an AI startup? Um, why not Silicon Valley? We actually started in Silicon Valley. Um, you know, I spent uh, a, a large chunk of the early days of the company living out there and, and in Palo Alto. Uh, and we ended up moving to New York because we think ultimately being around customers is the most important like, piece of, of any startup. 
We really want to be as close to M&A processes as they're happening on the floor with bankers, you know, really, really, really close throughout a process with investors. And it's allowed us to build a product that actually works, um, that isn't kind of caught up in the hubbub of Silicon Valley and, and actually grounded in reality uh, for what's going on here in New York. Uh, and at the same time, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm from this city, uh, went to high school out here. I, I absolutely, uh, I think it's got some of the best talent and work ethic in the world. So very proud to be here. All right. Well, it's great to have you here on NYSE Floor Talk. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Appreciate it.